What's up everybody, it's your humble Picasso here, thanks for joining in and today guys I'm going to be giving a quick little tutorial on a KLWP animation. Okay, so this animation is for sliding applications, okay? So I have a very simple uh, um, setup here on my tablet. We're going to go ahead and jump into KLWP and we're going to get things rolling. So first I'm going to just load up KLWP, custom live wallpaper. And uh, this is where I do most of my theming now. Okay, not just the widgets alone, but the entire wallpaper. It is a live wallpaper uh, application, which is very cool. It gives you a lot of uh, uh, details and a lot of, um, pardon me, it gives you a lot of options for theming. Let me zoom in here a little bit more. Okay, maybe about right there, that should be good. Okay, so. What we're going to do first is we need to make a global. A global uh, is basically, it's going to be a global switch. This is what's going to enable us to have an application sliding or doing any type of animation or anything like that. I already have it here. Um, I did do the video last night. Okay, I did not forget. Um, it was requested by uh, Dare to Win over on Instagram. I did do it yesterday and I was going to put it up and I was just having a lot of technical issues. Um, the format of the video wasn't working and all type of stuff and just just a whole bunch of mess So I do apologize for the lateness of the video, but regardless we're doing it right now. It's going to be up um, Yeah, so let's go ahead and we're gonna make this global and I'm just gonna call it um, I'm going to call it well, you know just switch so I'll just call it switch and we're gonna change the type to on and off switch um, and I'm gonna have auto off is it auto off or auto on? I think it's auto on with, let me see, on with timer. No, it's auto off with timer, and then it's gonna go manual with timer, and I'm gonna select uh, four seconds, and I'm gonna click okay, and there we have our switch. I'm gonna hit save. After may anything I do, I always hit save, um, because yeah, anything could happen. The tablet could crash or whatever, and if I don't save something, I'm gonna have to go all the way back and redo it. So I have a date and time, or a time and date here at the bottom. So now that we have the global, we're gonna need a switch. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit the plus sign. I'm gonna hit, you can do anything, you can hit image, or did I hit image? Uh, okay, let me see. Nothing? All right, I'm gonna go with font icon. You can do an image if you want anything. The first font icon is a star. So I'm going to leave that. I'm going to just go to position. I'm going to move it. I'm gonna put it, oh, the image is there. Okay, so actually the image is fine. I'll use that. Um, and I'm gonna try, I'm a neat freak. So I like when things are done certain, you know, to a certain thing, but I'm gonna try not to watch that too much so it's not a really long video. So we have, the star there and I'm just gonna leave it size everything that's gonna be fine I'm gonna leave that there and then we have so we have the star okay and then we're gonna go to touch I'm gonna hit the add sign touch single none we're gonna hit touch and then we're gonna hit launch uh, toggle global switch okay then you have the option right here to select which switch you're going to uh, toggle and obviously it's swift okay so I, I spelled that wrong you guys are probably laughing at me that I spelled it wrong, but that's okay. Let's go back, um, and what do we have? We have that, now I'm gonna save. I'm gonna go to the desktop. I'll go to the desktop, and just, so, you see it there? Oops, 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 wrong thing, oops, oops, oops. Yes, I can go back at that stage. I'll close that out. Okay, let's get out of there. All right, so we have the switch, and we have an image. Ah, oh, I keep forgetting, double tap brings up my, uh, uh, my app drawer. Okay, let's go back to KLWP. All right, so we have the switch, and now we have the image, okay? So I did make the image, I pressed the image before I press the font icon. So basically what we're gonna do with the image now, we're gonna go ahead and pick an image, okay? And then I'm going to scroll, and if you have certain, you know what, let me go back. Let me go back, let me go back. I'll try to give you as much information as possible. Okay, let's go back, let's go back, let's go back, all right. So, when dealing with an image, once you tap on image, okay, you come into here, you should be already familiar, or at least a little bit familiar with KLWP at this point. So, what we're gonna do is, under bitmap, there's pick image and edit image. I'm gonna go and hit pick image. 
Now certain icons and icon packs that you get, you'll be able to see them over here under the recents where you can choose an image if you have a specific image you'd like because you can do it with image or you can do it with icon packs. Now for me, I, have, I only have one icon pack on this device and it is the GUX icon pack, okay? Or the, what's it called? The, the GUX icons, okay, which stands for Grace UX, which is like the, the Note 7 uh, icon style, basically. So I'm going to go ahead and tap that. Not all icon packs are compatible with this type of selection, okay? And then I'm going to go ahead and choose, uh, let's go ahead and choose camera. So let's go to system camera. That's going to be the first one, all right? There's the camera. I'm going to bring down the size to about 80, all right? Then what we're going to do is we're going to touch position and I'm just going to place it over here in the top left corner. Okay. Top left corner, like, like right about there. I'm going to hit save. Now I'm going to go over here right beside position at the top. Right here you can see animation. I'm going to tap on animation. Okay. Tap on animation. Going to hit the little plus sign right here. Okay. And hit the plus sign. We're going to tap on animation where it says disabled, then react on where it says disabled. And we're going to go for global switch. We're going to select the switch right down here underneath where it says react on and global switch. There's a little check mark beside global. It's empty field. We're going to tap on that and select the global switch, which is switch. Now underneath or swift. Okay. I'm just going to say what it is. Swift. It was supposed to be switch. Now underneath the global switch, swift, <laughs> swift. There's action and scroll. Now, if you tap the little play button up here in the top right far corner, that's going to show you what's going to happen. So it's going to scroll. Okay. Now there's many ways to cover this on this cover. The junior be quiet. I'm doing a video. Now there's many ways to hide the icons up here, which I'm going to show you guys in a little while and it's not going to take too long or anything like that. We're just going to get this, this, the setup part out of the way, then I'll show you some little tricks to uh, really conceal it and stuff like that. You might have seen it in other things that I've created already as well. Um, yeah, so that's what it's going to do. Now we don't want it to scroll that far. So what we're going to be doing is actually going down a little further to where it says a uh, 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 limit. Okay, and then by tapping limit once, you're gonna see that it jumps to 25, and if you hit the play sign again, you'll see it only moves a little bit. So with this, you just wanna go ahead and, you know, put the limit to a far, a distance that you're okay with it going. All right, so I'm actually gonna put it to 300. Let's see where how far it goes. Okay, 300 is fine. So there we go, that's that one. I'm gonna hit save. I'm gonna go back, and then now to bind your stuff, obviously, you're still within the camera the first icon there so I'm gonna hit touch I'm gonna hit the addition sign I'm gonna hit the uh, not addition sign we're going to select which application we're gonna to go to launch app underneath you select which app you want it to launch there's camera I'm gonna select camera I'm gonna hit save back and back okay so now I'm going to actually label it because it just says image so I'm gonna select the check box here's a little pencil right here I'm gonna select a little pencil and then I'm going to write then I'm going to write C A M for cam. Save that. So now I know what that is. It is the camera. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit save. Now we can easily check this by uh, touching the camera icon. And it's going to go ahead and it's going to go ahead and launch the camera. Okay. There I am. Awesome. All right. So let's get back out of that. And then now the switch with a little star here, we're going to tap on the star and there you see the icon scrolling. Oh, you can't actually see it scrolling. My apologies. Maybe I should zoom out a little bit. Let's zoom out a little bit like that. Okay. There we go. So I apologize for that. You could see it in the edit in the, in the, uh, the editing window, but now here we go. So we're going to tap the star and there you see it scrolling. Okay. It scrolls the limit. Then it waits four seconds and then it goes back. All right. That's what the off with timer. That's what the off with timer is or manual with timer. When you tap it, it's going to go that it's going to count one, two, three, four, and then it's going to go back after the four seconds. Okay. Let's dive right back into KLWP. I'm just going to call it custom. Now uh, let's go ahead and select cam. Then I'm going to this little copy symbol up here. You can just go through and make a whole new one if you'd like, but I find that it's easier to just copy and paste. So I'm going to go ahead and copy. I'm going to paste it. 
Then the first thing I'm going to do is change the name from cam to message. I'm going to hit select or not select. Um, there we go. So now we have two. Then I'm going to go into message, pick image, pick image. Oh, pick image. I'm going to scroll back down to my icons, and then I'm going to choose. What did I say it was? Message. What message? I just realized. Why did I choose message? That's okay. Um, let's go and then let's choose Hangouts for my message then. Because uh, this is obviously my tablet, but uh, I could have done that anyways. It's fine. So now we have message. I'm going to go over to touch. So when touching it, it's not just going to launch the camera. We need to launch something else. So I'm going to go to Hangouts and we're going to launch Hangouts. I'm going to click save. There we go. Now going back, obviously, since we just copied and pasted, if we launch it, they're both going to move the same place. So to get that kind of roll, roll out, a, a, a delayed effect from the second application is what I'm going to show you guys right now. So what we're going to go to is animation. We're going to tap on animate and then here we are with this list once again. So now what we're going to do is the limit. Okay. So is it the limit? It is the limit, sorry, it is the limit. I just had to remember for a second. So the first one is at 300. So we want a little bit of distance between it. So we're gonna go to, let's see. Let's go back to 300. We'll go one, two, three, four, five to 425. And then let's see, let's see uh, where that ends up. Okay, it's a bit further, but this is just an example anyways, right? So there we go. But if you see, they both kind of spread the same time. Now that's okay, but it's kind of plain, or, or, or I would say it's kind of plain. There's not really much animation to it. So right above limit is delay. So what I'm gonna do is put delay to three. Okay, we're gonna save it, go to the desktop, and let's see now. There we go, we have more of an animation to it. If you notice that there is a little bit of delay. So it's a camera, then hangouts, then delay, awesome. Let's go ahead and add one more, so the animation, so you can actually really see it a lot better, so it shows uh, a, a lot better the animation. Let's select it one more time, copy, paste, let's rename it, and we're gonna rename it to email. Done, okay, email. Then we need to change the icon. Okay, then we're going to go to touch. So we're not launching the same icons. And email, save. I'm gonna go back, then animation once again. And then we went from three to 425. So the next one would be 525. We're gonna save. Then delay, we, the first one for Hangouts is at three, so we're gonna go to six. Um, you wanna double it, okay? And of course, you could do it any other way you would like. It doesn't have to be scroll, you could have some other stuff, but <clears throat> this one is based on the scrolling animation. So we've gone ahead and we've saved that, okay? Now it's gonna get a little bit more fun. Let's go to the home screen and let's check it out. There you have it, okay? So you have a nice little animation there, okay? So that's pretty much it. So let's go here and let's make sure, let's tap and see that we don't have all the other, you know, everything's not the same. Again, it's just an example, but okay, I just noticed something and it shouldn't bother me, but it does. That's not lined up properly, which is very strange actually. Why wouldn't it be lined up? I followed everything and it's not, it, it, and I know it's nothing you know, to worry about, but it should be proper, and I don't know why it's not. 525, so if I go to 425, oh, wait, we went from 3 to 425, so from 425, okay, okay, am I on the right one? Am I on the right one? Which one am I on? Which one am I on? I need to make sure I'm on email. Okay. And then animation. Okay, so we went from 3 to 425. So from 425, we should go to four, uh, 550. Okay, that's what it was. That was the mistake. Okay, all right. I'm okay now. Let's see. Yeah, exactly. Okay, all right. I'm cool. I'm cool. Let's dive right back in. 
All right, I'm sorry, you know, even in a test, I like things to look a certain way and yeah, you guys should know that by now. Okay, so what we want to do now is how to conceal it. Now, one thing that I actually like to do, and this is what I basically got from the uh, Google Pixel launcher or the Nexus launcher, is that you can always have that little shape in the corner, right, uh, concealing that. But if you want to get a cleaner look, I'll show you how to do that as well. So let's go ahead and change from uh, a square to a rectangle. I'm going to make it a little wide and then give it a little bit of height, just enough to hide uh, the applications. So we're gonna go ahead and move this over to about there, to about there. Now I want to make sure, usually I do the shape first and then put the icons so I can go like this and have the icons right above the shape. Okay, if you guys can see there, and then work on the shape after, which is very easy to do because you just hold on the arrows here and you just move it. Let's see if you guys can see that there and you just move it and place it wherever you want to place it so i'm going to place it behind the icons and then i'll work on it from there uh, maybe a little bit more height it's a little bit too much and then just position it where it needs to be positioned i'm thinking about right there and then what we want to do is give it some corners so it's not just straight let's see that looks okay might move it over a bit. Let's save, home screen, let's have a look. And you still have your icons doing the animation, okay? Come on, go back, there we go. All right, just like that, dive back into custom. All right, so now we have that. Oh, but what you wanna do with the shape, you want to go to touch, okay? You wanna add, single touch, and you want to add, uh, you want to tap on disable, block touch okay so that way you won't be able to launch any applications uh, underneath the square or underneath the shape I should say now we'll go back and we'll bring the shape all the way back down so it covers the icons save go back now tapping on it you won't whoop, I keep forgetting okay now tapping on it you won't launch any icons where before you would have launched an icon okay and then of course bring out your applications like that so it's basically coming from nowhere okay and if you want to mimic that pixel launcher you could always put an application here like the Google application you could put right there and then you have that and if you tap it it'll launch Google but if you tap that it'll bring out the applications okay now an even cleaner look okay if you don't want to deal with the shape I'm gonna go ahead and delete the shape all right and then you can just simply select all your icons and I suggest doing this uh, after you get them all lined up where you want them to go like this like how I've showed you guys and then you do this so you select all of them and what you basically do is just move it all off the screen like that so they're 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 hidden they're concealed okay so it gives you that more cleaner look and then simple again by tapping there you have all your icons sliding out from behind the screen, nothing's there. So you can do a lot of stuff with this. Within the animations, you can uh, uh, have them drop down, one, two, three, slide out like how we have here. You can have animations where they scale in, scale out. There's a whole bunch of different things that you could do. So I hope you enjoyed this quick little tutorial, guys. And uh, again, this was requested by dare to win on Instagram. Shout out to her. And uh, yeah, that's going to wrap it up for the video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a thumbs up if you appreciate it. Where's my video? You know what? Let me zoom out here. There we go. So if you guys enjoyed the video, Please leave a thumbs up. Really appreciate it. I'm your humble Picasso. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace. I'm out.